Hey everybody, happy Saturday night. This may not be the best lighting ever, but I am so too tired to care. So, the last 40 hours, so we left work yesterday, office work yesterday, at 11.44 to drive to Maryville for a football game that was out of control. So, we did not get home until about 1.05 this morning. So, Saturday morning. So, we left at 11.45 yesterday. Hey, Robin, how are you? We left at 11.45 yesterday. We drove up, had dinner, went to the football game at Maryville. Travesty in all, all way, shape, and form. Travesty. Then drove back. After screaming and screaming and screaming, yes, screaming and screaming. So, like, my throat is sore. So, we got home. We got in the door at, like, 1.05. So, I set the alarm clock for 6.35. So, I would, like, at least get a little over five hours sleep. So, got up this morning at 6.30 and got ready. Chris helped me. We got all loaded up, and I went to a local vendor show here um, in town, which is the Shabby Lady vin Vendor Show, and I love doing vendor shows. It's so much fun, whether I sell anything or not, which today I did. Actually, people are already looking for fall colors, um, so the fall lip colors were already really good today, so I'm going to have to order a few more because I'm already booked in September and December to do the vendor shows. So, anyway, so again, I'm delirious, so I can't stay on track. So, went to the vendor show, had fun at the vendor show. Then, I was there from 8 until 4.30, left there, stopped by my cousin's first not her first birthday party, but her child's first birthday party. Because I didn't want to miss a first birthday party, you know. So, I stopped by there. Then I went to Kroger. Oh, in the middle of that, I went to Captain D's. Because nobody in my house likes fish except for me. And Chris and Madeline are at the Wilson County Fair. So, if they're at the Wilson County Fair, this girl's getting fish. So, I went to Captain D's and got some fish. Then went to Kroger. Picked up some Kroger. Picked up a few things to make rattlesnake eggs tomorrow. It's my father-in-law's birthday. So, I'll be making rattlesnakes for him. Rattlesnake eggs for Madeline's boyfriend's mom who had knee replacement surgery. So, there's still a lot of stuff going on. Anyway, I just walked in the door, brought all the groceries in, took the dog for a walk, and out back on my patio, I had a gift from Leah. And Leah is my upline sponsor with Limelight. And I, I love a gift. I'm telling you, this girl works for praises, not raises. Praises, not raises. I love to be the thing. So, anyway, she sent me the coolest, like, black, elegant tablecloth. But it's this tablecloth that's fitted all the way to the floor. So, like, when I do vendor shows, it will fit around and hang down. So, you know, how when you go to shows, like, and they have the long tablecloths, so you can put stuff under the table, it is beautiful. And Tuesday night, I'm having um, the bar party here. By the way, locals, bar party here, our house, Tuesday night. Um, so, tomorrow... My plan is to get our my dining room, which is also um, my office, basically. Chris says he has lost his dining room to my office. Um, but I'm do my office, and I'm going to put that out. I think it is going to be beautiful. I cannot wait. But anyway, so I'm here. I'm home. I just sat down, and my bad foot is, like, all crazy swollen, just because this has been a crazy, like, 40 hours. And I'm ready to, like, just drop and go to bed. But I want to wait till Madeline and Chris get home from the Wilson County Fair just because, you know, like, I've got the mom bear gene. So, I want to make sure that they get home. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys how wild the last 40 hours is. And 
Like, I would not have not done any of it, if that makes sense. Because, again, I'm delirious. I wanted to go to that football game regardless of the outcome. And six hours on the road, whatever. Then I wanted to do that vendor show. I wanted to go to that birthday party. And I really, really want this bar party to be a success. So when I'm doing I'm have to I have to do all that, right? So it's fun and I love it. And it is almost eight o'clock. If it's not already eight o'clock, it could be eight o'clock because again, I'm just about lost all track of time. But um I'm about to drop on my couch with Netflix. Maybe, maybe the DVR, I don't know, because I have a feeling that as soon as I lay down, it's not going to matter what's on TV. I'm going to be like done, but I have a really fulfilling, fun, crazy, delirious life, and I'm always busy, but I do love a good nap, and part of the reason for doing this tonight, doing this little live right now, is... I'm building this Lime Life business. You guys know I am. And I'm on the verge of a big promotion. My team is promoting. And people tell me they're busy. You know, they might be too busy. I want busy people. You know what I have found in my adulthood life? People who are busy get more done. They get more done. They are busy. They can prioritize and they can focus and they have tuned in to what they want and need from this life and what they enjoy. And if there's things I don't enjoy, I don't do it. I have absolutely no desire to walk around the Wilson County Fair. I know that's blasphemy here because people love the Wilson County Fair. Don't want to do it. Not going to do it. Not fun. So... My laser point focus was spending eight hours at a vendor show and meeting lovely women, uh, two who have already texted me tonight that they would like orders and um, I've made friends with uh, a couple of ladies on Facebook and Instagram today. So, oh, you guys, did you guys work at the farm? Was it overtime? Because Chris said he got overtime or he can have overtime beginning this week so anyway okay so if you're not at state farm you don't know but there's been a block on overtime and now there's overtime again and if there's overtime chris short will try to work overtime but anyway i i just want to say i love busy people and it's probably been a few years since i went to bed at eight o'clock on a saturday night but that's all right and i'm going to bed on i'm going to enjoy it not to bed. I'm going to the couch. Um, but I'm going to enjoy it. And I'm going to have a good day tomorrow. And I'm going to be with my family tomorrow. And the bottom line is I'm doing all of this. So my time is my time. Honestly, I'm doing every bit of this because my time is my time. I want it to be just mine. And side note, how great does my makeup look? You guys, this makeup has been on since 630 in the morning. And that was after I only slept five hours. So I think I look pretty, pretty spectacular for no sleep. That's what Lime Life will do for you right there. Good skincare, good makeup. All right. I love everyone who watches my lives. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.